Hey, what's up everybody? Isim here bringing you another video. This one going to be the last video of my matchup chart where I go over the rest of the 45-55 matchups and then the two worst matchups that Samus has. So let's just go right into it just to keep it quick and simple. So, Mewtwo. This matchup is really obnoxious just because Mewtwo's killing is so much easier than Samus's because I feel like the characters are pretty even in every regard because their neutrals are going to be similar because uh, they both have charge shot. A um, Mewtwo has down tilt whereas Samus has dash attack and both are like, well, if you guessed right, you can punish it, but if you don't, you get you take 30. Uh, so that's pretty similar. Mewtwo's obviously lighter than Samus, but Mewtwo also has a grab that's good and a kill throw and Shadow Ball is better than Charge Shot uh, because it has less lag so we can like follow up more on it. Uh, they, you know, they're about as strong. Everything else is pretty similar. So a lot of the times it's actually going to be like, well, okay, we're both charging. Okay, now we have full. Let's like play neutral for a while. Uh, also something that uh, Mewtwo has obviously that Samus doesn't is a reflector. So it is a lot riskier for Samus to do charge shots against Mewtwo than vice versa. Obviously, if it's small enough, it's not going to be that big of a deal. But like big charge shots will kill really, really early. Uh, so that's really scary, right? So something you have to look out for. Obviously, Samus can get a lot of early kills on Mewtwo because Mewtwo is super light. So if you read an air dodge and back air it correctly, Mewtwo's going to die like 80, 75, 70 maybe if you're near the edge. Like that's really ridiculous. Uh, but the fact that Mewtwo has up throw and forward out of shield is such a good option uh, makes it a little difficult for this matchup to play like it makes it difficult to play like the super close combat one in neutral uh, obviously samus has up b out of shield which will punish most things on shield not all of them but most if they're trying to like forward air your shield and like not being retreating the whole time uh, and then if they retreat you take stage and potentially you know corner them and whatever you can punish the roll or you can just hit them off stage and mewtwo's like mewtwo can't really get off the ledge well versus samus uh because of the fact that you have up tilt you have forward tilt you have you know jump read the air dodge back air you know, it's, it's pretty difficult for Mewtwo to get off the edge, which is where I feel like Sam's going to be getting most of her uh, kills and the damage that isn't just randomly from, like, dash attack or something like that. So it's not too bad, uh, but just the killing and the fact that, you know, Mewtwo can shoot more Shadow Balls than vice versa is annoying. Like, for me, when I am when I use Charge Shot in this matchup, it's either for an air dodge read or if I'm, like, falling so I can't get punished regardless, or if it's like, oh, they shot Shadow Ball, shoot Charge Shot. Uh, so that's pretty much what I'm getting. So it's more like nullifying one of Mewtwo's best options, which, I mean, is a really big deal in my opinion, uh, but it doesn't technically get you anything which is kind of unfortunate so next i want to talk about bayonetta so bayonetta this matchup honestly both characters have a lot of things against each other but the most annoying thing for samus is the fact that bayonetta can edge guard the hell out of samus because uppy is obnoxious and lingering there if you have to tether it makes it really really difficult for samus to recover you typically make it back but you will take some damage and that's kind of obnoxious whereas samus obviously can't really edge guard bayonetta very well you know pretty much the only thing you can do is if you get really lucky and outspace uppy you can down air it but that's almost impossible and then you can get like little bits of damage with beam and uh, bomb if you like try to, if you just like throw it out and they try to like get greedy or they have to up you to let you hit them with the bomb maybe they can then panic up B and you can hit them with up tilt out of there not being able to grab the ledge but like that's pretty much going to be it uh, you know Samus is actually really good at punishing a lot of Bayonetta's lag because she has Zare and dash attack and beam so if they're really far away and then you know they have to land you to shoot beam uh, worst comes to worst for you they witch time it uh, it won't witch time you though uh, so they just waste a witch time in, in order to not get hit which is fine by me uh, you know that can be like 20% or a kill if you if they go closer and they just like land with an aerial you can uh, either up be out of shield or dash attack it which is pretty good because obviously that's a lot of damage uh, a lot of the times you're not going to be able to get bats within through the combos so you should be fine going for the standard combos uh, as I mentioned if they hit your shield with any aerial, you can up be out of shield it. That's a neutral too, which is pretty good. Uh, you know, Samus' neutral I feel like is actually better than Bayo's in this matchup. Uh, I don't really know how efficient the ledge camping is for Bayo in this matchup, just because I haven't played against a camping Bayo in it. But it seems like it would be pretty ineffective because you can just kind of like stand outside the ranges, uh, you know, and shield if, and just in case they side B. And then if they gra grab the ledge a second time, you just walk up and down tilt it, uh, which is like 12% or something. So that's pretty good. Uh, you know, obviously you can get an up tilt too, but that's going to be a little more difficult because it's slower. So down tilt's going to be your most reliable option if that's the case. Uh, Bayonetta, obviously, you know, the fact that you don't have a grab kill confirm kind of hurts or just even a lot of damage off of grab, but even at, at the same time, you know, at you, when you're at witch time percent, so you're going to be going for more grabs, you can just camp with beam and it pretty much does the same thing. And then if they go in the air, you can run under them. If they do an aerial, you up be out of shield it. And if they don't, then you just kind of like back away or just roll away and then just reset to neutral and just start charging beam again. Uh, beam is actually really, really good in this matchup because it forces Bayonetta actually to approach. I mean, obviously if you have beam, they can shoot whatever, uh, but then obviously the threat of beam is there. And if they steal a lot of witch times, then you're not going to be as scared of death percent, in which case you can start throw, you can still throw out things like back air, neutral air, uh, Zare, and not really get witch time. Also, that's a really big thing is Zare gets witch time, so you can't do that. Uh, unless you just like short hop and then bait it and then dash tech them, which is actually sick. I've done that before. You get a lot of damage off of it. Pisses Bayos off really, really hard. 
Uh, but yeah, I mean, in my opinion, this matchup isn't that bad, you know. If Bandana doesn't get the Witch Times, it's actually pretty difficult for her to get kills in this matchup because she doesn't really want to contend with Samus's airspace, so she's not going to be really spamming back air for kills. Uh, you know, obviously she can throw you off stage and get an edge guard, but again, it, you can alter your recovery to not get hit by the kill move. Sometimes you might get hit up, beat back out, and it might lead to a kill, but honestly, it won't happen as often as you think it would. Uh, somehow, I don't know, it just that just happens to be the way it is. So, I mean, yeah, not that bad. Uh, definitely a doable matchup. Like, all these characters, even though they're all, like, pretty uh, top tier, you, Samus does have a lot of options, and the next top tier I'm going to be talking about is Cloud. So, Cloud, the reason this matchup isn't that bad, uh, you know, this matchup actually might be even, is what I've been thinking recently, uh, but I put it at 45-55 just because, you know, up air is up air, right? So, getting off the, or getting out of the air against Cloud is a bitch, uh, but you can kind of go to the ledge and try to play the ledge game, which again is difficult because Cloud on the ledge is really good. Uh, but the reason I put this as 45-55 is because Cloud can never safely charge limit because you can pressure his space with Zare and charge shot really, really efficiently. Uh, you know, if you're like half stage against a Cloud and you short hop towards him, he has to shield because otherwise he'll get hit by Zare. Uh, you can obviously like run it in dash attack, but if they're charging limit, they can't charge limit, see that you short hop, cancel it, and dash attack, and still have it reach. It won't happen like that. Uh, Samus, a lot of her moves hit out, and so it's really easy to hit Cloud off stage. You get a dash attack from mid-screen, and you get up air neutral air, then he's near the edge, and a lot of clouds won't be liking to be near the edge, so then, like, double jump above them, and because, again, a lot of your hitboxes of Samus are, like, horizontal out, you won't really, really, you won't have to contest with down air from, like, a bad space, because you can just run under it and back air, run away from it in neutral air, you know, like, turn around back and neutral air him uh, off stage. The edge guarding of this matchup is really, really easy easy uh so you should be able to get a lot of those in this matchup honestly obviously cloud can recover a little bit safer but if he's going to do the high like the immediate list time you can just down tilt it if you expect it or again just like start ledge trapping because cloud actually really can't get off the ledge well versus samus because as i mentioned downer is not that good of an option in this matchup so if he ledge jumps you should be fine uh assuming he doesn't have limit and he's just like way faster than you and you miss right it completely uh so he has to do the things like neutral get up in which case you can forward tilt it or nair him back out or even get a grab or sort of like a jab him back off uh you know you have forward tilt if he rolls you can obviously just turn around and back throw him back off uh you know it's really hard for cloud to space safely in this matchup because if he's doing things like the short hop back air short hop back air, you can just like kind of grab it because if he's not spacing if he's anticipating the back air to hit like you coming in it's like okay well i'm not going to come in i'm just going to grab you and punish you and that can be a big deal because again it can lead to a back throw which can lead to an edge guard or down throw forward air which is just damage keeping cloud in disadvantage it's really not that easy of a matchup for cloud but the reason i do put this in cloud's favor is again up air is a good move and just if he has limit and he ends up getting the cross slash you know he can just kill you so much earlier uh than you can besides your edge guards although again a lot of things will lead to edge guards of Samus. so again it might be an even matchup i'm not 100 sure uh but i I just went for 45-55 just because I haven't played the best clouds in the matchup. You know, I played Nairo's Cloud a long time ago, and it went to, like, a game five set in friendlies, but, like, that's pretty much the only super high-level cloud experience I have that's not MBD. Next, I want to talk about Zero Suit Samus. So, Zero Suit uh, obviously is a much more volatile character than Samus is because of the fact that she gets that grab at 30 and can just kill you, uh, but the thing is, the neutral in this matchup is actually in Samus's favor because you obviously have charge shots, so, like, Zero Suit kind of has to approach similar to what she does in the Mewtwo matchup. Uh, however, you know, because you're heavy, you won't be dying super early to random things. So the killing in this matchup is actually in Samus's favor, assuming you don't get like the bad DI on a platform or like, oh, they have 150 rage and you got grabbed at 20. Uh, I don't know if Shine Spark works against Samus, so I don't know if we both have something that could just derp the other, uh, the opponent at low percentage, which would actually kind of be cool if they both, if they both did that in the matchup. Uh, you know, both characters kind of want to be in the same space. Both characters have up be at a shield. I think in this matchup, I prefer Samus's because it is on both sides of you, so you don't have to mess up like reversing the up And also, it's a lot more rare that people fall out of Samus's up than Zero Suit's up which is nice. Obviously, Zero Suit's kills earlier, which is obviously problematic, but I feel like it's actually uh, something that's really important in the matchup is it's a lot easier for Samus to get off the ledge than it is for Zero, Zero Suit to get off the ledge. Because uh, the thing is, so if she ledge jumps and down bees, you can actually da uh, dash attack under it and it'll proc the uh, footstool and then you can punish the footstool accordingly with like charge shot or back air if you read it correctly. Um, so that's kind of problematic for her. Whereas Samus, you know, Zero Suit's not going to be able to do a lot of her normal ledge trapping thing because if she starts charging a down smash, you can just fair it kind of for free or roll past it, uh, obviously if you react in time. Uh, neutral get up is punishable, which is bad, and ledge jump is kind of difficult to do just because Zero Suit's up air is kind of problematic for Samus, but again, it doesn't do enough percent to really be scared of it unless you're at like the 15 percent where like upper upper uppy is scary uh but just like just don't do that then like take the damage for getting rolled like whatever just just don't do that option uh you know samus actually has a lot of good kill options in terms of back air neutral air 
uh, you know, charge shot, obviously. And Zero Suit's gonna mostly be fishing for down Bs and back airs to get kills, or up Bs out of shield, but again, both characters really have that, so. The killing, in my opinion, is actually in Samus' favor. The neutral is in Samus' favor, but the overall punish game is in Zero Suit's favor, and then she can just, she derps a lot easier than Samus does, which is kind of problematic. Uh, not super hard, though. Definitely a doable matchup for Samus. Like, it's no, like, this used to be one of my more hated matchups, because it's just like, oh, well, Zero Suit's just better Samus, right? Like, she just jungles you better and kills you better, but then after the up B nerf and after the up air nerf, you know, she's doing less damage, she's killing you less efficiently, and then Samus also got buffed, so in my opinion, this is a pretty dual matchup. Next, I want to talk about Sonic, and this matchup is one I feel like people will be like, what the hell, how do you think this is not bad? But it's really, really weird that it's not bad, because again, uh, Samus can just freely charge shot, pretty much, just charge beam whenever she wants, because uh, Sonic isn't really that good at approaching, right? So it's like, oh, okay, you're winning by 10%, and you're gonna start camping? Okay, I'm just gonna charge beam and then have it. You'll pretty much have beam like the whole matchup, which is really nice. Uh, Sonic obviously has superior runaway uh, tactics because he has things like uh, spin dash and just being able to like run away, go off stage. It's pretty hard to edge guard Sonic, uh, you know. And it's, but the thing is, it's actually pretty easy for Samus to juggle Sonic because if you get that dash tech up air, up air land, uh, you know, Sonic's landing options are pretty mediocre. Obviously, yeah, he can spring out, but then if you just kind of wait for him to land, obviously, if he down airs, you can just shoot charge shot whatever, whichever direction he's coming down or like up smash it even uh, just to hit him. So that's the thing. Also, if he just tries to land with like a forward air, anything he does on shield, again, as most matchups, you can up be out of shield, keep him in disadvantage, which is really problematic for him. Uh, Cause Sonic definitely wants to be back on the ground so he can spin, right? Uh, you can't really camp against a Sonic efficiently. I mean, if you have the lead, you can start charging charge shot and they can, you know, they have to force their way in like similar to like a Mewtwo or something like that, but it's not that efficient. And the most, you know, the most common zoning in my opinion for Samus is Zare and Zare is pretty inefficient against Sonic. Cause again, he's so fast. He sees you jump and he just goes, I'm there. So so you can't really zone him. So for the most part, you're going to be have to having to play a grounded game against him. Honestly, I really like when Sonics are camping spin dash because I just kind of stay outside the range of where it's uh where it'll be invulnerable. So again, like this is the hop, right? So this is the hop of Sonic. And so if I stay on this part, so like if I stay not where my moves are gonna hit here, but where my moves are gonna hit here, uh, that's gonna be where I'm gonna wanna stand. Like, okay, there it's like down tilt. Or oh, again, just shoot charge shot. If it misses, then you just back up and shoot it again. They're gonna like try to chase you and you're not gonna care because either way, it's Sonic damage is not that big of a deal. Uh, Samus also out kills Sonic in my opinion. Obviously he has back throw, which can be problematic. But again, there's no reason for you to be approaching him on the ledge. I would just honestly just shamelessly shoot charge shot and then maybe like back air uh you know to poke his shield or break it so sonic sonic can't really be comfortable ever in this matchup because of the fact that you can get shield breaks obviously and the fact that charge shot controls a lot of the momentum of this matchup surprisingly even though sonic is the controlling momentum character uh, so samus does a really good job versus that which i really like in the matchup you know if you lose the first stock against sonic first you're probably going to lose the match which is why i put it at 45 55 but i feel like that is also true the other way because samus again has really good tools to extend her lead because dash attack like if sonic has to approach then you can kind of just like dash attack into him or like again just shoot charge shots get slow amounts of percent then if you die you have a 60 percent lead he's gonna have to approach you in which case you can just again keep shooting charge shots playing your ground game it really is doable you know i've had a decent amount of success versus every sonic i remember the one game i played versus ken in this uh matchup it was actually very like i was winning by a lot and then i kind of got too aggressive trying to get the kill and then he actually beat me because of it but this matchup is definitely doable uh you know you would think in theory it's bad but in practice it honestly is not so the last four or the next four characters uh, can all pretty much be summed up equally, which is the fact that Samus doesn't like when she gets outzoned because Lucas outzones her. Mega Man outzones her, Toon Link outzones her, and Villager outzones her. They're faster than her for the most part in terms of their frame data. They can outkill her sometimes. Like Lucas has down throw up air, which is obnoxious. Mega Man has back air or like the footstool stuff, which is really good. Toon Link has bomb to fair, and Villager has just like edge guarding, which can be obnoxious. It is really, really not fun to fight against zoning characters as Samus because she is too slow to deal with them. And for the most part, against all these characters, charge shot is relatively ineffective. Me Mega Man is not the case, but Mega Man has the most disruptive close neutral, which is why like Samus can never like actually get in unless she just shoots a charge shot gets Mega Man in disadvantage and then comes in but these four matchups are really obnoxious because Lucas obviously has a uh, magnet villager is pocket and then Toon Link can just like hold his shield up and it'll block the beam which is really obnoxious uh, you know, Zare camping isn't particularly effective versus these characters either because they just slowly like get in or like disrupt the space that you really want to be in. It's just, it, this it's so annoying. All these matchups, it's just like, ugh, they're gonna camp, they're gonna, and like for the most part they have better grabs or better kill confirms. Uh, Samus has better damage than the majority of these characters, I would say. 
but it just honestly doesn't make up for the getting camped, and it's just, it's really obnoxious. They, they, some of them might, maybe Mega Man's even, because he doesn't have a better answer for a charge shot, but it's just, these matchups are so obnoxious, I actually hate playing them. Anytime, like, I'm just playing Samus at a tournament or friendlies, and someone goes, like, one of these four characters, I'm just like, ugh, this is so annoying. And the next character I want to talk about is Meta Knight, because Meta Knight, uh, you know, Samus is fine camping the edge, which is going to be the primary area that you want to fight a Meta Knight, or rather not fight a Meta Knight, because of the fact that he has his ladder combo. The ladder combo is so, so effective versus Meta Knight. The reason it's not worse is because, again, Samus is comfortable fighting on the edge, so it's like, oh, well, I'm not going to get dash attacked and die. They have to, like, read when I'm going to charge shot, roll through me, down throw me to get, like, any type of pressure uh, in. Because Samus, again, can just charge shot, and then, or charge, you know, her beam, and then be like, okay, cool, shoot it. Oh, it missed. Okay, cool, I'm going to charge it again, and shoot you a few times when you're trying to approach and then charge it again and then I have it and it's not that big of a deal. But yeah, the fact that you can randomly get dash attacked at like 25 or 30 and die, it's, yeah, it's definitely not a good look. You know, if you do mess up your positioning, if you try to get greedy for a dash attack, you know, you might pay with your life, which is really unfortunate. Uh, you can't, you also can't edge guard Meta Knight particularly efficiently. I mean, you can just kind of like throw out bombs and try to interrupt his uh, shuttle loop, which is kind of cool, but it's really, it's typically not worth it. Whereas Meta Knight can actually go out there and mess with Samus, which is annoying. Like if he forward smashes you out and you're at like 70 and you don't die, he's like, okay, well, I'm going to jump out here, try to bait and air dodge. Oh, you double jumped? Time to just get back to the ledge first and then like ledge trap you with forward smash or like down air, things like that. It's kind of obnoxious to get off the ledge against Meta Knight uh, just because of the fear of forward smash. But again, again, if he's close enough, you can kind of just, and you see him like start the animation, you can hope that he's not going to be perfect and time it right when you uh, try to get off the ledge, which you can do. It's risky. Uh, but honestly, you have to make sure that the Meta Knight isn't comfortable just kind of sitting there and doing things. But again, he's short, and so sometimes they fall out of the forward air, which is obnoxious. Uh, this is the same for the characters I listed below that aren't uh, Mega Man, so they will sometimes fall out of the forward air, which can be really, really annoying. Uh, but yeah, just the fact that the ladder combo is so scary, but the fact that Samus can kind of counteract that with her just charging beam at the edge, it makes this matchup, like, scarier for Samus than it is for Meta Knight, which is why I put it at 45-55. And... The last two matchups I want to go over are the death matchups, which in my opinion, I don't know if it's 6-4, they're probably worse. In my opinion, they're probably both 65-35. Fox might be 7-3. These matchups are terrible because, because they are fast, they are short. Uh, Pikachu can edge guard, whereas, Sam, or whereas Fox is going to juggle for the most part. Both are really hard to hit for Samus. They're both really good at edge trapping, uh, and they have better kill options than you do for the most part because Samus or Pikachu has up throw thunder, obviously, and Fox has things like up smash or up tilt edge trap, like frame traps like Samus cannot land versus either of these characters because Fox does it with more damage, but Pikachu does it a little bit more easily because up air is bigger. Uh, so like if Samus is in the air, it's like, okay, well, both characters short hop up air. Did you, did it hit? Cool. Continue to do it again when they're at the right spacing. Oh, did it miss? Fast fall, up tilt, and or up air. It just whatever they want. It's so obnoxious to get down in this matchup as both characters. Uh, you know, Samus has stronger moves individually for the most part than these characters. So if Samus is going like toe to toe with them in damage, Samus will kill them easier if you get those kill moves, but it's really hard to land the kill moves, especially versus Fox. Uh, honestly, Fox sh should probably be in his own uh, his own tier, and actually I'm gonna do that right now. These two are definitely my most hated matchups uh, you know, for Samus, because I play a lot of Samus Pikachu on my stream because a lot of my subs or viewers play Pikachu. Uh, but every, every time I play Fox, it's like, you can't land. I've played this matchup. People have counterpicked it against me. You know, I played it versus Void. It smashed the record. And even on, like, jank stages, I could still feel just Fox being Fox and it being so obnoxious for Samus to deal with. And the fact that, you know, both characters punish dash attack really, really strong because you get up tilt combos. Uh, you get, again, you get put in the air, which is, as I mentioned earlier, really, really bad for Samus. You know, they'll they'll both start their vortexes, and so, like, up tilt, up tilt, up air, up air, land. Okay, you're gonna have to land, up air. You know, just over and over again, it's so hard to land or get off the edge against these characters. The only comfortable place is, like, really far away. Because, uh, you know, if Pikachu shoots a Thunder Jewel, you can punish it with your beam. Uh, and Fox, just, you can't do anything to him in neutral. Uh, in my opinion, because he has Reflector, so you can't just randomly shoot Charge Shot really safely. Obviously, you can bait that as well, but, you know, then if you're like, okay, well, they're gonna Charge Shot, or they're gonna they're gonna Shine because they think I'm gonna Charge Shot. Dash Attack, you got Shielded, Up Tilt at 40, up oh, there, now you're at 90. Uh, like, it's it's not fun. This matchup is not fun. Uh, in my opinion, none of the stages really benefit Samus either, because they're both good on Triplats, and they're both good on Town and City, so it's just, it is just not a good look. These matchups suck. And yeah, I mean, that is going to be about it for the Samus matchup chart. I hope you all enjoyed. Again, thank you to the people that donated to the St. Jude Children's Research Hospital fundraiser that I did on Tiltify. Uh, you know, I really do appreciate it. Remember that because I got to $1,000, I will have to do, or I will be completing the Pikachu guide in terms of the last two parts, which I think are the only two parts I have to do, which is edge guarding and combos. 
uh, you know, so look forward to that by the end of June, because that's a lot of uh, recording and editing, so it's probably going to be near the end of June where I release those. I will also be doing the Pikachu matchup chart as well, which will be a little more, you know, solid since I'm like the, you know, the Pikachu as opposed to another one of the top Samuses. So you can look forward to that. And I mean, yeah, social media, pen, and partner stuff is down below, and I will see you all next time. Oh, bye.